hi hi everyone welcome to Eden's secret i've got a bit out of the habit of uh introducing videos haven't i so we're just going to pack a couple of orders today or maybe three uh we've got a small one here for wax melts uh jean ordered fresh cut roses comforter and three cashmere cream wax melts just love the packaging on those Now, all the links to everything that I'm using in the video are in the description box below. Now, because I'd gotten so behind with orders, I've been really spoiling my customers with a, a was it fifteen percent off plus I'm actually gonna give as many samples away as I possibly can. Right, that's just about all we can get in there. Well, it is all we can get in there. So, that is just to thank you so much for your patience in waiting for your order. Regards, Karen. And every single person has understood. Isn't that incredible? haven't had one customer that's been well that's had any attitude whatsoever so that just shows how great my customers are
so here we have the crack part of this video and the crack part of the video is to tell you exactly what happened where I've been how ill I have been um, on June the 10th I went to a wedding and on June the 14th I um, got Covid and I was pretty alright with the Covid I just had a sore throat and a bit of a runny nose that's all uh, nothing nothing much um, we're packing Andrea's order here Andrea if you're watching and what happened was it's a long story but I'll try and cut it down as short as I can um, I seem to recover from Covid after just a couple of days I was fine uh, but the next th three days went by by and then I started to feel a bit unwell and I just started to think it was the after effects of Covid um, that continued for a month I just you know I, I was typing everything into the computer describing all my symptoms and my symptoms were um, aches and pains all over the body very lethargic uh not well at all so unwell that i couldn't do any work whatsoever um and again i just was putting that down to the covid and the after effects i'd been to the doctors and i well i'd spoke to the doctor because it's telephone calls only so then i started thinking I got some other sort of flu. It wasn't COVID at all. Um, the next month, I was due to go in for a blood test. Uh, just my regular bloods that you get done every year. So I went in to get those done. And I told them how very, very ill I'd been. How terrible I felt. And that I'd never felt as ill in all my life. And you just, you know, I don't want to knock, knock the surgery or anything. Because the doctor's surgery, I mean, that's what it's known as over here. Um, I don't want to knock them at all. They're only going off what you're telling them. Um, so I went in for my bloodstone. And I thought, if there's anything wrong, they'll let me know by the next day. Because I'd also been anemic previously, around about last Christmas. So I'd been put on iron tablets, which I, I actually had stopped by now. I was told to stop them. Um, then I... Um, so again, I told them how ill I'd been. Oh, I'm sorry to hear you that. What is this test for? What are you going to be looking for? Um, and she said, oh, don't worry. Everything, absolutely everything is going to be tested. And I thought, so I went away and I thought, well, if there's anything wrong, they'll be on the phone tomorrow. Because I know, I knew when my iron was low, the doctors rang me the very next day. Uh, once once the results had come back to let me know and get me put on some iron so I was thinking is it because I've stopped the iron I mean everything was going through my head so I didn't hear anything nothing at all uh, for over a week and then Andrea who's the nurse there she usually does the bloods the girl that did my bloods, she um, she was like a locum. That's uh, someone they get in to, to cover if staff are on holiday or they need extra staff for anything. Um, and somehow my blood test had gotten missed. So it was about a week and a half later 
that I went in to see Andrea and she read re the bloods and this was on the Tuesday of that week um, when I go to bed at night I, I like to go to bed early and when I go to bed I always uh, knock my phone off the ringer because there's nothing annoys me not more I'm, I'm, it takes me ages to get to sleep and any disruption whatsoever can mean that I'm awake for hours and hours and I can't get to sleep. So I turn my phone off uh, and at about nine o'clock the doctor knocked on the door. And she said, your potassium levels are dangerously low, they're at two. And the, they should be between three and a half and five and a half. Two is very, very dangerous. Apparently, low potassium. Potassium pumps the. It's the main heart heart muscle in your heart, and it pumps your blood around your body. If it's only working at half mast, uh, you can have a heart attack. Uh, so it. I was sent to A and E uh, to get some a potassium bag put through my body So I just could not function at all. Um, I was saying, I, like if you said on a scale of 1 to 100 what figure you are, I was saying like 25. But John said, I think you're more like a 7. Uh, so that's how poorly I felt. So into hospital I went. And I ended up having two bags of potassium. And then they sent me home. A bag of potassium takes uh, about six hours to get through your body. So that was 16 hours. I didn't go home because in between those 16 hours, you've got to have blood tests uh, before each bag to see if your level's gone up at all. And that takes at least an hour for those results to come through. So I didn't get home that night until about 10 at night but they said you'll have to come back first thing in the morning and then every day I had to go back to the hospital um, to get my bloods tested and they give me some potassium to take orally. So I had to keep going to the, the hospital for that and then once my levels were back up to normal it's weird like my body the pain in my bones and the pain in all my muscles was excruciating um, it's probably not a hundred percent excruciating pain but it was 75% just the pain alone um, so once the hospital discharged me the pains started to go away on their own because I was thinking I would need painkillers but I didn't once the potassium levels were back up 
the pain just diminished just like that but I didn't feel great straight away because this has gone on since the beginning the middle of June we're now in September I've missed all of June all of July and all of August with this low potassium um, but I do actually feel pretty normal now I'm still a bit weak but nothing compared I feel bright eyed and bushy tailed people are saying I still look a bit ill but but it's probably just because I've not got makeup on and stuff like that. So, I've been going back to the doctors every single day to get my bloods done and get my blood results. And then it, what happened was, once the potassium levels got up to where they should be, as soon as you stop taking the potassium, because they don't want you taking the potassium if you don't need it, the levels drop back down again. And so you start feeling ill. So it's been a whole month of that trying to get these levels. Actually, it's more than that because uh, that would have been middle to end of August when I got admitted. Um, and we're in September now. So, yeah, so it's gone on for a long time. And basically here we are my first video back with you I've missed you I know that you've missed me and I just want to thank everyone for being so patient I let everybody know about the orders and um, you know how ill I was and every single one of you has been really kind and considerate and um, I'm grateful for your understanding. I've got, I must have the best customers in the world. Literally. Right. On to another order. So I want to talk to you about the symptoms of this. Um, obviously, I've described some of them. Uh, very very lethargic I mean ridiculously lethargic but there were other people there who had low potassium well there was two others there uh, they one of them didn't have any symptoms at all but I think it's because they'd caught her really fast the other lady that had it um, I think she had eating issues because she was very 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 thin and it actually says on the form, see severe malnutrition can be a cause of this. But it's not the not eating that causes it. It's not getting your starchy foods in. Now, this is absolutely crazy. You're going to think I'm crazy. But I had a dream before I'd been to the doctors or anything before I knew anything about my potassium levels. I had a dream about new potatoes with butter and cheese and tomato uh, tomato soup, tin tomato soup and then I got this whiff of bananas and they said at the, the hospital I was to eat potatoes, bananas and tomatoes, tomatoes. And I think your body or someone, someone of a higher level was telling me that's what I needed to eat. Because obviously I was praying a lot. Why do I feel so ill? So, um, I've got some written down on my phone because I might have forgotten some of them. Right, potassium. Symptoms, very tired, terrible pain in the bones and muscles, all of them, every bone and muscle. Dizzy, yeah, you can get a bit of a like a wobbly head. Also, 
um, if you're holding something your hands can like twitch as though you're going to drop something or you might drop something very very sick to the point where you're going to be sick but I wasn't sick but apparently that is a symptom uh, being sick another symptom is being able, able to think straight um, and make de set decisions clearly um, and that's it now I looked up low low um, oh, what's the other one low calcium and that can have the same effect and the reason I'm telling you this is this might be something you come across someday that you haven't got a clue what's going on uh, just get straight round to the surgery and force them in to doing your bloods because that's the only way they found out with me. At the time that um, I was at my very worst, John went and using a saw, a circular saw, cut practically all the pad off his finger here, really deep. It's incredible to look at now because you'd never know. So he was um, he was off work for two weeks and all we did was literally we just sat on the sofa and watched all the sad programmes like Foy in a Bed. Um, what's the other one? The cooking programme where can't... No, not can't cook, won't cook. Um, the one where people come round to your house and you cook for them and they cook for you. That one. Um, just everything that's on the day. And it's nearly all chat shows. Good morning, Britain. Uh, this morning, Loose Women. Um, that that game show with um, Bradley Walsh, the other one with the, the chips like at the fun fair where they go backwards and forwards on a fun fair machine. Um, the news, the news every single day is exactly the same, isn't it? Um, so after two weeks, is he was about driving me mad. And I was glad when he was allowed to go back to work. It's just the sitting doing nothing. I'm so thankful to be able to do do something and enjoy packing an order. Yeah, I just wanted to tell you all of those in case any, you ever feel like this again in your life. Because I have had the flu once before. And I've always been a bit against the flu jabs and things, but I, I'm just going to get them now. Um, so I've had my very first flu jab. I had it on Monday. So I'd like to make sure now that I keep on top of all my multivitamins. I take these every day. And I love the taste of this one. And these are the multivitamins that you get from Boots, orange flavour, uh, £2 for a pack, but they were on three for two, so I got three, and um, they're absolutely delicious. But I have a feeling, because I started taking them when I was ill, and I did start to feel a tiny bit better, I have a feeling that before I started taking them, my potassium level would have been one point something. I'm not even making it up. Um, just horrendous. I'm amazed that having a low vitamin can make you feel so poorly. Oops, we haven't got pumpkin apple butter. I've got to pack this order, but. I realise I've got some some wax melts missing that I'm going to have to make. So we've got Autumn Magic. And we've got Cinnamon Fire. 
This lady must be getting stocked up for the winter. Lush Lust. Well, I'll show you them, shall I? That's the Autumn Magic. That's the Birthday Cake. I love the Birthday Cake. It doesn't sell very well, you know, but I really like it. Cinnamon Fire. One of my absolute favourites is a smell for the, for the home is Lush Lust. Comforter. I need to make funnel cake and remember the magic. Also need to make happily ever after and I've got Main Street Bakery which is this one. And then Ariana Grande perfume and blackberry jam. That must be on the fr on the front, is it? Yeah, blackberry jam. So this order will just go to one side, and I'll get these um, two cupcake soaps in a box so it's very important not to go out and just take potassium because um, I think you could end up at the other scale where you pass potassiums too high and that could cause another whole lot of problems. So, you know, I know a lot of people like to go out and take these vitamins and things, but you need a proper blood test to determine what your body needs and what it doesn't. And something like potassium, it would just, you'd only need it for a few days, although I've, because mine has been so serious, it's been going on for a couple of months. But I feel like we're getting somewhere now. Actually, another symptom, which is a strange one, although you feel absolutely shattered, you can't sleep very well with low potassium so they're the they're all the symptoms that i've suffered from now these boxes and labels once they've all been used up i have got a ton of them though um once they've all been used up then i'll be changing the packaging for the cupcakes And you'll be very pleased to know that I'm actually going to start my Christmas soaps tomorrow. I've got a nice bath bomb video for you where I'm making multiple colours of geode bath bombs because I absolutely love the look of the geode bath bomb. It's one of my favourites. And... Instead of making lots of different styles in a bath bomb, I've decided just to have a couple of styles so that they really complement each other. If you were going to put them in a box and sell them together, they would look really nice. So, I'm going to go and get this video uploaded and hopefully I can get it up for you tonight at 6 o'clock. You'll all be shocked. Um to actually see me because I haven't exactly kept everyone informed properly I just I just couldn't be bothered um, but I know you'll understand I'll see you very soon for another video from Eden's Secret bye bye for now